Well, hello everyone, Dillian here with another LEGO Dimensions review, and also my very last LEGO Dimensions review of for Bold Throwback Thursday, and in general, of course. And this one's on on the uh, Team Pack and Fun Pack from Teen Titans Go, and as a bonus for this video, the Supergirl Polly Bag for that, which this I'll show in a bit, but yeah. So on the front of the boxes for both packs, have the LEGO Dimensions logos and also some nice artwork of the minifigs in both packs and also the age group and mount pieces saying that's a fun pack and, or a team pack, the set number. And also this part, unlock exclusive episode, but also in two different languages, of course, but also but although that exclusive episode, not just to the game anymore, which you can also find on YouTube nowadays, which you can see right there, or see right up there, of course. And then now on the main part of the box, have the Teen Titans Go logos, and also all the builds and minifigs included in both of them. And then the logo again, and also... Uh, starter pack and internet connection required on both of them. And then sign of which LEGO Dimensions logos and again the artwork of the minifigs of course. And on the back side of both of them have the LEGO logo and set number again and also spot saying 3 and 1 for that. And also the main build and or the builds of that, and also all the alternate models for both of them. And also TT Games logos, and Choking Hazards, and also Adventure World and Battle Arena again. Well, for both of them. And as for the polybank part of the of Supergirl one, have the logos there, and also the minifig that's included with it, and saying exclusive to that. And also, which, but whereas for the Green Arrow one, did say a limited edition or something, but in this, which was exclusive to the updated version of the PS4 starter pack, but however, but you can also get it separately off Bricklink by now, of course, which is how I was able to get this, but, but at least it, but it's also available through Macari and stuff nowadays, but yeah. And then age group is 7 to 14, set number, or polybank, or just number is 71340, has six pieces. Back size, actual size of the uh, toy tag there is, and don't wash the toy tag or whatever, and TD Games logo again, and everything. And as for the uh, little booklet, which same picture as on the front of both boxes, of course. There's that. There's the making the mini face, and then placing them on the toy pad and start the game, and download the latest content to use this character. And also, so building is part of the game, which. But you can get the instruction, actual instructions elsewhere on a couple of sites, of course. And then advertising for the a year two fun packs there were. And then advertising for the uh, level packs and team packs of year two. And all the story packs that there were. And the pieces included with the set and uh, the online survey. As for Supergirl's insert, same picture as the front of the poly bag, of course. And of course, can fold this out. And then there's just a whole bunch of copyrights, warnings, and then also building up Supergirl there. And then, oh, whoops, some trademarks, and then advertisements for year one 
uh, DC and Ghost and Ghostbusters level packs. That can go anything. Yeah. Now on to the picks. So for the Teen Titans Go ones. And now one thing to note is that, that these which are based upon the Teen Titans Go uh, slapstick show that there was, not like the original uh, Teen Titans show from the mid 2000s, but however, so it didn't have a bit of odd looks to that. So as for Raven, who is first time in any set, made first time ever, and of course has the uh, uh, show face looking like that to the show, and also the hood piece in purple, interesting to see there, and also holding a uh, Ninjago Zap piece there, also used as Force Lightning in Star Wars. Then, however, the torso printing quite good for how it is, and also the leg printing also quite nice for to do so, and good to have some printing on the bottom part of it. So, quite good figure for how she is. Then, as for both Beast Boy and Starfire, which also came in the Jokerland set a couple years prior to that, but didn't have the Teen Titans Go kind of look to it, but in this image we have them with that here. But however, Beast Boy, however, the, the hair piece and or hair or hair ear, hair and ear kind of combo piece, quite nicely done for that. But which, as some say, that can also be useful with like representing Link from the Legend of Zelda franchise. Well, if in different coloring, but yeah, but also the Face printing kind of well captures it, and also torso printing quite well captures these appearance from the show. And of course, wielding a banana in case if he turns to either a monkey or a gorilla for that. And also, not at all need leg printing for that, even though he has some stuff going on him in the show. Okay. Then, as for Starfire, I was quite good print her torso print, leg printing quite good for that, but also the skirt of which quite printed on but doesn't seem very well but if she were done nowadays probably have the short skirt piece like you expect from some figs and first introduced in the uh, 2020 uh, trolls line for that and also as for the arms which uh, what's missing are her uh, communicating wrist band or bracelet or gaunt yeah gauntlets that are that she usually has on but maybe didn't want to use that for this being a small cheap set well at least they should have easily done so if she were done now if she were to be updated i would expect that however the face printing well it captures her in show appearance quite well but in the hair piece which is this hair piece in a magenta kind of color in darkish pink coloring nice to see here also good to capture her from the show, but yeah. Then as for the back sides of both of them, I wish Raven's barely little back torso printing. Then as for her face print, or each of which have double sided face print. Whereas Beast Boy and Starfire, represent being both uh, both stern and kind of frightened a bit. Then as for Raven's, which has the red eyes going off for that, which represents her other appearances as well and of course this quite nice as well then as for the base plate pieces for ravens it's like that with the raven on there of course for these boys of which there's those color schemes and also Hand and paw for that, representing him doing so, of course. Then Starfires, just a fiery star on there. And that's about it for the these figs here. And now on to uh, Supergirls, which, well, this whole fig of which 
which at first came in the Brainiac attacks that in the DC line, but however, well, everything's the same as that one. So, well, same face print, torso printing, everything for that. But the only thing exclusive is the toy tag here, which you may think is might be the same as Superman's one, but however, this which is in orange as all year two one and the green arrow uh, polybag one. <clears throat> but the and the printing once again similar to Superman's, but the only difference are the side uh, prints to that. Whereas Superman's was all plain, either blue or red. I don't remember but that. But however, this one has a bit of yellow striping on that to help differentiate a bit, and also well, well fitting to her. I wish good to see here, but yeah. Now on to first of the builds for the uh, Teen Titans Go Team Pack, which do have the Titan car, or just the T car, for that. Which I see quite well done for how it is, and of course record standing on a, a toy tag has all builds and dimensions, and of course can take off and does roll around quite well without that. That's the front part of which which does is in the shape obviously in the shape of a T, same with the just like the uh, Titans Tower building, of course. Then as for the side parts of which they do have those like uh, black studs representing like like extra greebles to it, and also have both a smallish wheel and a larger wheel for that, making it kind of tractor like in some ways. But although this is supposed to make it a little extra goofy, like the show coin is, but yeah. But as for the upper part, which does have a little, uh, little panel piece for a windshield, and also a little seat in there with a couple studs in there. To obviously fit a fig of your of whichever kind you want. Yeah. And on to the back side, it, or the sides of which just a bit of snot with a tile and cheese slope there, and also a extra, just a regular uh, blue uh, curved slope on there. And bottom part, just not much of anything that but although maybe not much to be used with the other build and the alternate models of this but however as is still quite good for how it is for that and also all of which resting on a 2x4 plate for that and you can like stick it on to there and there you go and that's about it with that and now on to Raven's spell book which, as you see, quite an interesting, neat build for how it is. Oh, it's consisting of mostly black and also uh, lavender and a couple of random bits of both clear and uh, trans purple, of course. And also all resting on a toy tag, like all builds. Uh, kind of hard to get on. Oh, there we go. So as is, like this bottom part of which just a couple of hanging brackets, most likely used for the alternate models of that. It does also have a hinge part in the center and also these, uh, and also a couple of large hinges with a couple of plates and, or yeah, tiles or rather plates and also a couple of uh, curved slopes on both sides. Obviously, representing the many pages of the book, of course. And also, with that out of the way, kind of closes up a bit for that. But of course, it's to have this part go on to it, of course. Do you have a clear bit in the center, most likely for it to not flop around, which is nice to see, which is good to see there. And then this all around by one brick with a few spikes on the sides of that 
and then upwards go into a, a dish piece or little dish piece but in trans purple kind of nice color to use in mocking for that and also this little uh, horn kind of bit like we've probably seen in Ninjago and elves and such but even though you can get just one of these in this piece here but at least but whereas the rest of which still acts as a good parts pack of black and such and I guess that's about it with Raven's Spellbook and then last of the builds of which is the Titan Robot or well or otherwise just a small representation of that like I see all the meat does kind of well capture the appearance from the show quite well like with this whole color scheme and also how it all looks for that and of course and just like the a couple other uh, mech builds that are on dimensions it's all resting on a little bar piece yes, for that. although you can pull it off if you want to and without it it does stand quite well for that Like as for the legs of which comprise of mostly these hanging brackets and also plenty of stuff and also cheap slopes representing the farther foot parts and of which resting on hinge kind of plates for that and also going on to the torso part which does have a couple of tiles representing the T for Teen Titans of course and then as for the arms, which are just a couple of little, uh, or a couple of, like, a couple of uh, plates with uh, bar bits on them. And also a couple of little uh, cylinders representing the lower arms, but most likely as cannons as well. But although it would have been nice to have a couple of little, little Exoforce droid uh, hand bits representing hands for that. Well, maybe you could add that on if you wanted. But as for the head, just a couple of studs and also the football player helmet, but in a darkish pink. Interesting to see there. And the back side, which just a modified plate to hold it all together, of course. And of course, although this whole builder, which, which you can definitely use in a, a small scale uh, mock of representing a scene from the show, of course. And so now, on to the final verse. I think these of which are quite good uh, pack or packs and a poly bank as of course well and of course nice thing to do with the uh, adventure world and ballerina part of it that you can use Robin from the Teen Titan or from the uh, Batman movie pack and Cyborg from the DC fun pack to uh, play in that and they can be the versions of them from the this show as well so you can kind of complete that well just in game form but although having a other version, although having Raven as a minifig first time, great. But although a Beast Boy and Starfire, kind of interesting rebuilds. But and also good cheap ways to get them outside the Joker Land set, and also the Polybanga Witch, as for the and also the mini builds, represent are quite good representations of how they were from the show. Well. Even though Raven's Spellbook kind of large for how it is, but even though it's a bit of course scaled up to fit the dimension, like a dimensions of dimensions appearance, but yeah. And also these do also work as good parts packs for like light blue and black and such. And then as for 
about it there. And as for the uh, Supergirl uh, polybag, which although I think would have been nice to have been some, something a bit extra exclusive to it, aside from just the toy tag for that. And also, I'm not sure why she was exclusive to a updated version of the PS4 store pack, when she also could have been a giveaway promo, like the Green Arrow uh, polybag, but maybe was and I wasn't aware. Uh, I don't know. And, of course, and also a good way to of getting her without getting the Brainiac attack set as that one. But, yeah. And so now, if any of you still have these sets from back in the day, well, I hope you had some good memories of them. And for those of you who have it and still have access to these sets, I'd say definitely pick them up. eBay, Bricklink, Mercari, whatever. And good luck trying to get Supergirl if you can. But, yeah. And that's about it for this video. And what is next, next Throwback Thursday? Well, let's see. But, yeah. And that's about it with this video. Please like, comment, share, and subscribe. Thanks for watching.